Hi folks, the whoopee sling suspension consists of whoopee slings installed on your hammock at, when you order it, um, a pair of toggles or carabiners, here I have a pair of toggles that we sell here, and a pair of six foot straps. Let's hook this up and take a peek at it. To hang your hammock with the whoopee sling suspension, first you'll want to attach your tree strap to the tree. Simply go around the tree, past the running end, through the loop, and snug it up tightly. Now, we'll want to place a toggle in the strap to accept our whoopee sling. To do this, I want to make a loop in the strap, just like that. I want to fold the loop back onto itself so that I've got the standing end of the strap and stick my toggle through and cinch it down. Okay, I've got my whoopee sling. I want to hang the whoopee sling over the toggle and I want to make sure that I'm hanging on the knot, not on the toggle. If the whoopee sling is down here on the toggle, that's a good way to snap the toggle and you'll hit the ground. To adjust the length of your whoopee slings, you'll want to pull on the tail that comes out and you'll want to pinch this area right here and push up. That will shorten the whoopee sling. To lengthen the whoopee sling, you do the opposite. You pull this part right here and you pinch it and pull it right down. This way you can dial in exactly the length that you need for your hammock. Now to take the suspension system down, one of the good things about the Marlin Spike Hitch is once you remove the whoopee sling, all you have to do is pull the toggle out and pull the strap. Everything's ready to go. An alternate way, and perhaps more convenient, is to use a carabiner on your tree strap itself and also a carabiner for a toggle. Uh, to tie this, you simply make a loop in your strap like we did before, fold that loop up to the standing end of the strap, and instead of slipping a toggle in, I want to slip a carabiner in, and I want to put it right here across the spine of the carabiner. Now, when I take my whoopee sling, I want to hook it again on the knot, behind the knot, and I want to take the rest of the whoopee sling and I want to feed it inside. Now, there's no way that this can possibly come out because now your whoopee sling is actually trapped in here. A little more convenient if that's, if that's what you'd like to do. And just like the toggle, the carabiner is also easy to take out of the Marlin Spike hitch. You simply unclip it off of there and the knot disappears.